WRG's Brian Didlake is live at the park with more on how people kept their cool. Brian? Yeah, Stephanie, Greg, this was truly a wonderful event to witness. The crowds are starting to dissipate and get going as they're going back home to uh, their loved ones after enjoying a great time here at Liberty Park. But now with the crowds all gone, people we spoke with say, well, having a great time, they were prepared to beat the heat. Shaking off the blistering heat, hundreds of people came out to Memphis's Liberty for all event. It's the city's annual 4th of July celebration. Filled with laughs and giggles, mixed in a break from the sun as clouds covered Liberty Park for a few hours, families tell me this was the perfect time to get together. They already got the energy up. You look around, <laughs> we are ready to join the festivities. And there were festivities from carnival rides, food trucks, and live music filling the air. But even during all the fun, people we spoke to say they were prepared to beat the heat. We got hydrates inside the car. We're going to bring them out a little bit later on. A lot of water. Uh, we also have a tent, so we are prepared. Even vendors like Mempops pitched in to keep families cool. No, you get one, they're frozen below zero degrees Fahrenheit, so that's definitely going to keep you cool. Other families we spoke with say with the crime the way it is in the city, this type of event is what Memphis needs. It's important for the city because you got to try to bring everybody together. Instead of just throwing a price tag on everything, let's just for once just enjoy something, you know, without always destroying it or taking advantage of it. First time father Miles Harris tells me while he's been here before, it was extra special to share this experience with his family. At first I was kind of nervous, but now it's, I enjoy it a lot because if you don't have family to lean on, then who you got to lean on? And by the stroke of nine, a fireworks display celebrating Independence Day in Memphis. And now as we go to the 4th of July tomorrow, city officials say to stay hydrated. And if any families plan on lighting fireworks, make sure to keep a bucket of water nearby and never relight or pick up fireworks that are not fully ignited. We're live here at Liberty Park. Brian Ditlake for your news leader, WREG. News Channel 3. All right, looks like a good time for all out there. Brian, thanks. In other news tonight,